What's up, Gemini? Welcome to your monthly horoscope for February 2023. And I'm happy to tell you that life is moving forward for you, for me, for everyone. And things are going to be shifting and there's going to be a huge energy shift this month. Now, you've been getting hit hard by the retrogrades because Mars has been in your sign. It's been affecting you in your first house of self-identity, just your overall life, your life direction. And perhaps you've been going through some things where you felt like you've had some setbacks, or you've been held back a bit. And that was just the universe's way of telling you, just hold on, be a little patient, do that inner work, reflect. But now Mars is direct. So it is time to go, go, go. Over the next couple of weeks, you will see yourself picking up the pace and momentum will be increasing and you will see a difference you will see an energy shift and you will see things manifest for you mercury is also direct now in your eighth house so if you've been having issues with shared resources with intimacy not clicking mentally not being able to have those deep conversations not being able to transform or even if you've been like really diving deep into your psyche mercury will be moving forward and giving you a break and uranus is also direct now in your 12th house and with uranus in the 12th house it may have been impacting you a little more subtly but now it's time to really move forward and progress in terms of like your spirituality your subconscious perhaps in the last couple of weeks you've been doing a lot of the inner work especially with mercury in retrograde in your eighth house mars in your first house uranus retrograde in your 12th house so now we're just moving forward with just absolutely everything in life especially the deeper aspects of life your life direction your subconscious your psyche you know, intimacy, everything that is super important when it comes to our existence, you're moving forward. And in the start of February, the sun is shining in Aquarius in your ninth house of travel, education, studying, spirituality, philosophies, and beliefs. So if you wanted to go out somewhere, because I know you like to travel, well, now is the time the universe is supporting you. No more delays, no more setbacks. This is your time to thrive. So whether you want to travel physically, intellectually spiritually now is your time and you're gonna be feeling like you're in your element as well on february the 5th we have the full moon in leo affecting your third house so this could be impacting you and your siblings i mean there may be some drama with your siblings there may be some going back and forth so just watch out for that even just like in your environment your neighborhood you may also feel like some emotions some inner child emotions come up to the surface and during this time you may even feel very spontaneous like you need a change you need a change in your environment you want to move to another place maybe you feel like you need a creative outlet you need to express yourself through communicating like you need a spontaneous change but just watch out for any drama because listen the full moon is in leo so you already know on february the 11th mercury moves into aquarius entering your ninth house of travel of studying learning education your spiritual beliefs and philosophy so it's a great time if you want to go somewhere if you want to learn something new or even if you want to focus on your spiritual beliefs and philosophies this is also a good time to do a lot of studying and learning on february the 18th the sun moves into pisces in your 10th house of career goals and ambitions and soon after on february the 20th we have the new moon in pisces so plant your seeds when it comes to your career your goals and your ambitions the universe is supporting you Take the time to initiate, to start something new, create a vision board for yourself. What do you want your future to look like? What are some of your goals when it comes to your career? And for you, it definitely has to do with something spiritual. So this is a great time to work with the universe, work with the elements and manifest. On February the 20th, we also have Venus that moves into Aries in your 11th house. So this may be a time that you're enjoying spending time with friends, socializing, going out. You may be feeling a little fierce and fiery, but this is your time to get together with other people and share your visions and hopes and wishes for the future it's time to really connect with your community during this time now overall february things are moving forward life is looking good so this is your month to create to manifest to travel to do your thing and be in your element so gemini have a great month and don't get too wild